it is another amazing recipe here for your table now if you are watching me cooking for the very first time, be sure to hit your subscribe button. Don't forget to press the notification bell so you will always be aware of whenever I upload a brand new video. Now this is another recipe that you have requested. Fast, easy, and simple. We don't want different things, right? So yeah, I'm here to get different things. That's what you need, that's what you're gonna get. You wanna see me turn up this recipe in my kitchen to your kitchen? Come on, right man, walk on with me now. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rest the floor, I, I. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you. You know when no obligation, but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him need you. Well, here we go again, goody, with another recipe from my kitchen to yours for the Christmas, right? You have feet, and here we go. I have six drumsticks right there. Now, what you want for the when you have cooked chicken, you want to make sure so you watch your chicken nice and clean. I use lemon juice, salt, and vinegar as always. Soak it in the water for a few minutes. Wash that off, rinse it up real, real nice, and your chicken ready, right? Well, you know how me feel about flavors, right? You can't have good food without the right flavors. Here we go with the flavors that I'm going to put on this recipe. No, my good up, good up chicken, right? Yes. We're gonna add some onion powder to it, paprika, black pepper, and salt, of course. I'm also gonna be adding some ginger powder to it. Also, some Jamaican offer for season, or any kind of season of your choice is fine. I'm also going to be adding a quarter cup of corn starch the recipe as well now all the amounts for this recipe will be listed down below now I'm gonna season up this baby now because we're ready for cooking up an arm plate now we're gonna add our salt to that and some black pepper and the black pepper that I'm using is a white black pepper use whatever kind of black pepper you can find you're gonna add your onion powder your upper for seasoning, some powdered ginger, and my paprika. Yes, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw in that cornstarch, baby. Now get that clean hands up in there and just turn them things gently. If you can. If that make any sense. Now that look versatile, we're going to let that sit for 30 minutes and we'll move on to step number two. Okay goodies, now that my oil is nice and hot, I'm a chicken well marinated for like 30 minutes, right? I'm going to go ahead and put them into the oil. When you put it in, you want to make sure that the chicken starts to fry immediately. Not later on enough, immediately. a total of 15 minutes to fry on medium heat now put it on high high heat enough you're gonna burn up the thing let it fry on medium heat you see what i mean by do not burn up burn up the thing and that's the mean now let's give you a close-up on the chicken yeah you see all that nice and crispy and crunchy okay that's how i want it you know just like that so now, let me show you what else we're going to put on the recipe, yeah. So, now good, eh, to make this thing a taste so divine, right? I'm going to use some vegetarian beans to it. Now, I might not, I uh, might use all of it. Depends on my mood, I almost feel when I go along with the recipe. Now I'm going to need two tablespoons of brown cane sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, Half a stick of butter, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar only, right? I'm also going to finish it up with some parsley. Let me show you how this thing is up. Watch the ride, goody. Watch the ride. Y'all don't drink box juice from base. Now let's make that sauce. 
Add your butter. And your sugar. Almost forgot my garlic, but I didn't. So we're going to add that garlic to it. And just combine these together until it melts and come together and look pretty much like that. Then you add your cinnamon right there so. And toast it up for a minute. Well, not a minute, if you know what I mean. Then we'll add our vegetable beans. Allow that to come to a nice little bubble and thicken real, real good. Now, today, all I did with that chicken was take some of that oil off because we don't want my thing greasy, greasy, right? So, all I did was remove some of that oil. Now, with my beans. We just go ahead and pour that out on that good thing right there. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Yeah, so good. You know how some rice are happy right now? Mm-hmm. At this point, you want to make sure you find up on medium eat. And after you put the fire up and made them eat, you just bam it up, just like that. And we say, when food good, food good. Well, honey, I hope you enjoyed the recipe. It was fast, it was easy, it was simple, and it is delicious. Yes, mm hmm. Now, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe now and turn that notification settings on because if you don't, you will never know when I uploaded a new video. Like, 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 share, share, share all of my recipes with friends and family. Tell me what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen, Oman. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation. Full coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.